Shalom fam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own unleavened bread. So instead of going to the store and buying them nasty crackers, that's nasty, we get to make our own unleavened bread. It's empowering and fam, it tastes better. Let's go. With Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread around the corner, it is a great idea to start making our own unleavened bread. All right, family, here's everything that we need. So we need measuring cups, one cup for flour, half a teaspoon, which we're gonna use for salt, one tablespoon, which we are going to use for olive oil. Here is another measuring cup that we're gonna use for water. Now, if you want to use the one cup for water, go right ahead, but I just prefer to have both of them out. We need a mixing bowl. We need flour, of course. I'm gonna be making it with organic whole wheat, whole wheat flour. Now, if you wanna use all purpose, go right ahead. You can use all purpose flour, but I prefer to use whole wheat, olive oil, organic olive oil, which we're gonna use, salt, parchment paper, or we can go with a pastry mat. So you can use parchment paper or a pastry mat, or you can even use both. It's your prerogative, do what you wanna do. Also, a roller. I mean, you can use your hand if you want, you know, you feel me? But I'm gonna use a roller. And also, of course, the skillet. And the last thing that we need, Feast of Unleavened Bread t-shirt. Okay. All right, so now, Let's put two cups of flour into the bowl. Let me take off my ring. Take off your ring? Well, you know what I mean. What do you mean? So we can make unleavened bread. Okay, I guess just this one time. All right, thank you, baby. All right, family. The first cup. In the second cup. cup. Now we're going to put one half teaspoon of salt into the bowl. Now let's put three tablespoons of olive oil into the bowl. All right, all right. Now we're gonna mix it with the fork. Now we're gonna put three quarters cup of water into the bowl. We got the water. Now we're gonna mix it, family. All right, fam, so this is what we want. It's not too tacky, it's not too sticky. This is the consistency that we're looking for. Just like that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about over mixing it. Yeah, don't overdo it, fam, it's good, it's good. <laughs> it's good, good. It's about to be, for sure. Yes, yeah, so now we're gonna put it into a ball. All right, fam, so this is what we're looking for right here. We got it mixed into one giant ball. And you gotta work with it, fam. You, you gotta work around that bowl. You gotta roll that ball up. It looks something like Play-Doh. This is what we're looking for. All right, family, so now, before we put this big giant ball on this, on this pastry mat, we are going to make sure that we put some flour on a pastry mat, so that way it limits the stickiness. Now we're gonna divide this ball into eight portions. So now that we have eight portions, 
we're going to form each portion into eight balls. Now that we have eight balls of dough, we're gonna roll them out with our rolling pin. All right, family, so we rolled out one ball. It's about five inches wide, and it's about one eighth inch thick. So now that our dough is flattened out, we are going to put it on the skillet, put our first one on the skillet, one by one. And before we do that, we're gonna put it on medium heat, and we're not gonna put any butter, and we're not gonna put any olive oil. We're just gonna just put it right on the skillet. So now you wanna cook on both sides for about one to two minutes and make sure that it's thoroughly cooked or it's starting to bubble. That's what we want. You see it bubbling, family? That's what we want. It's done. Mm-hmm. Now, depending on your skillet, you may want to put some olive oil or some butter. It's optional. It's up to you, family. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is cool, baby. Yeah, we're making some food together, which is something we don't usually do. We should do this more often. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave it some of it. It's recorded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit it, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get your approval. Yeah. And see what makes it, what doesn't. Give me my sous chef. Ooh. <laughs> And it's cool because the now I'm recording you. Yeah. Cause it's been one minute so far. We're waiting for one more minute, and I'll flip it. And family, it's not rocket science. No. It's not hard. So don't don't aim for perfection. Just make it. Just do it, fam. Yes. It's it's real powerful. It's real empowering to make your own unleavened bread, and it tastes better. It sure do. I know I said that already, but it's true. It tastes better. I mean, we Israelites. We got to make our own stuff. We can at least make our own leavened bread. You see that, fam? That's what we want. See, you see how it's bubbled? See how it's brown? It's bubbled? It's thorough. That's good. That's what we're looking for. It's kind of like a tortilla. Yeah. But then kind of like a pancake because we're going mm -hmm. with the whole wheat. I just prefer the whole wheat. It tastes good. But a lot of... Yeah, it do, right? It tastes... But, but a lot of unleavened bread, like you see, you know, it's lighter. This is what I prefer. And you want to gauge it, fam. So you, you want to go ahead and flip it over a few times. It don't hurt to flip it a few times and just make sure that it's, that, that it's cooked thoroughly. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to mess up. It's, it's hard to it's mess up. It's like impossible. It's almost impossible, right, <laughs> okay? Look at that. Now that's some loving bread. Okay. Ooh, that's what we're looking for. Oh, you know what? We forgot the wine. Also, as a heads up, family. You do not want to put the parchment paper directly on top of the dough because you're going to get this. It's going to stick. I want to put some flour on there. Yeah, put some flour on there and don't do this, fam. Mm -hmm. All right, fam. The unleavened bread is done. Now it's time for a taste test. That's right. Thank you family for joining me in this video. I'm Jaden Israel. Until next time, Shalom fam.
That's nasty.